Now, over this last decade, our global merger helped us to gain significant uh, expertise, participate in work around projects, but we also learned that what works globally does not necessarily work for the African continent. So in October 12, 2019, just now nine months back, the African shareholders decided to take a strong step and demerge from the global entity, uh, which was headquartered in Melbourne, Australia. The decision led to the birth of what we will, uh, what we announced today as Utari. Of course, back in October, no one would have predicted that the beginning of 2020 would see the emergence of a global pandemic, with COVID-19 having a devastating impact on the macroeconomic environment and our communities. But at the time, even before this management, and we already realized that the time of globalization is, is kind of a rewind on that. We could see the market changing and decided to emerge from the global company to again be proudly African. It is interesting how the pandemic has accelerated this trend toward localization with countries becoming much more inward focused. And this has accelerated as international borders remain closed as we speak and travel conditions uh, remain very, very restricted. So for us, this is a new chapter and we are passionate about the future that it will bring. The fact that we are privately owned, uh, we call it management owned, so 10% of our employees has got shares in this business. It makes it possible for us uh, to have done the transaction and also for us that we really belong in this continent. We see a future and we're heavily involved in it. In the past 90 years, we formed a relationship with Africa and its people. While its problems and challenges have defeated many, we've seen this continent at its worst and its best. Our local knowledge is unrivaled, making us the perfect partner for those unfamiliar with the proud continent. Simultaneously, we maintained our global design centers, exporting work to Australia and the Middle East. Now, to export services is obviously financially very attractive, but it also offers unique opportunities for our young staff and young talent where they can fulfill a career without having to leave this continent. So what are the pillars or what are the driving force behind Zotari? We talk about we co-create an engineered impact. So we're going to talk about each one of those three words. What are we talking about when we talk about to co-create? We, we look in the problems in this world are so complex and we have noticed that needs us to collaborate, to work together to find a solution. We look through a different perspective, through different lenses. We see the issues. There are some real challenges and this solution for these challenges do not reside in the boardrooms or perhaps in the blueprints. Therefore, what we do, we have to spend time with the end users who will enjoy the products of whatever project, uh, project or the plant that we are building. For us to understand what we've been asked to do, we have to understand what the end users want. Therefore, we have to commit to make a difference. And as an industry, we have the responsibility to design and to construct infrastructure project that will generate employment, of course, that will benefit the local communities. Therefore, you have to factor the social and environmental impact in any design. We do not design in isolation and take the solution to present it to our client as a fait accompli, as they say in French, but we design with our clients. Is this process of co-creation that delivers the joint solution that matters? A strong network of relationship is key to connect the clients, the stakeholders, and the partners with a shared interest. It's only by doing this that we can co-create the new opportunities, often opportunities that never considered before. It is the commitment to truly add value that earns the trust to our client in this industry. 
Hence, we say we call create. Secondly, we talk about engineered. Therefore, we talk about intentional, skillful, and artful approach that drives us beyond just a traditional engineering. Because when you talk about engineered solution, you reframe the traditional engineering expertise for a new world, a world where you have to continually innovate to deliver better results. Our technical eminence, which is backed up or has been accrued over the decade, is now grounded in digital engineering. That helps us, therefore, to solve the problems that human ability alone cannot solve or is not enough to get to the solution. What took days in the past now takes few moments. Digital technology enables us to collaborate better, to imagine boldly, and of course, to make smarter decisions on time. We have moved beyond the traditional engineering, and today we integrate technical and creative thinking. We employ design thinkers to help us explore problems that are much deeper. Thus, we deliberately invite the different voices to the table. The former public protector used to call some of those ukoko jamin. That means someone who is down there who knows what is happening in the community. Those are the people who can help us to deliver or to engineer what is required. It is how then we expand our creative capacity to engineer a solution for impactful, lasting change. Traditional engineering focuses mainly on the design and the construction of assets, which is fantastic. However, today we deliberately connect the assets to strategy and better decision making. We see the better results when the designer of an asset is also advising the client on how to plan, how to maintain, and how to operate, optimize, at times even how to repurpose their assets. And the third pillar I want to talk about is an impact. There we talk about the deliberate and the shared value we create to join the economies, environments, and the communities that we serve. You'll agree with me, impact is hard won. The best social and environmental performance need to be backed up or to be underpinned by the strong financial performance. True sustainability requires these three to be integrally linked. Thus, engineer solution should not only consider the impact on the environment and the communities, but also it should consciously deliver economic value that helps the client to stay and to thrive in their businesses. The Southern will create an impact that matters. We create the solutions some of the, for some of the most challenging problems in this world. In this continent, Africa, we need to deliver the solution that are appropriate for this continent. What might be feasible to a highly developed market like the UK, US, or Australia is not necessarily affordable in this continent, let alone being viable. We truly support Africa's vision for a non-racial and a non-sexist society, inclusive democracy by creating opportunities for all.